How goes it, Android fans? It's me, the Cool Loser, and today's video is going to be on the best apps of the week. So let's do it to it. You know I do the best live wallpaper of the weeks for every segment, but I'm going to bring back the cool wallpapers HD because a lot of people don't watch my games video and they like to watch only the apps. I just want to show you that it has great HD wallpapers for your background. Save them for whatever, you know, you can download what you can see in the background. The Spider-Man looks pretty cool. The last time I said there's almost 2,000 wallpapers, but there's actually more. There's nine in one page, so you move to the next page and there's next nine. The HD wallpapers look amazing on your phone. You can see more stuff up here, like just filter, the popular, the newer search. All right, let's get it on with the best apps of the week. And I'll start it off with Norton Spot. Those of you guys who get those annoying ads that pop up in your notification, you get little icons and you don't know what's consuming your data in the background, now check it out. I'm gonna press Spot them. And right now it's scanning through all my applications. It's gonna give it a little list, it's like this. By behavior, as you will see, we got three applications that puts ads on my notification bar. Clicking on it shows me which one exactly are the ones doing that. So if I wanna click onto it, so it displays ads in the app, collects location coordinate, and you can uninstall it immediately from here if you don't want it no longer. But there's the thing I wanna let you guys know before you guys freak out, like, oh my God, this app does this. A lot of applications, need those permissions to run and work. It's not like they're stealing, they're not all malware like you're thinking. There are applications that need to actually run in order for you to get updates. Those of you guys who wanted to pinpoint down to which applications are those, consuming more data, putting those annoying ads, find it with this application. You're really gonna enjoy it. And you can just click right here on apps and you will see it puts in like the higher risk, which ones are the ones that can be more annoying. So I'm not even worried about the ones that I've shown right here, but try it out for yourself. Next up we have Popcorn Player. I don't know how far you guys go on watching my videos, but I've done some where you can add little pop-ups, like here's a URL and it's gonna do a little video here in the background. And I can move it, and I can move it around and open something else in the background. I can pause it right here and still move it around. You can, you know, readjust it if you want it to be even bigger. So now I can watch two videos at once if I wanna go on YouTube and play this text somebody and not miss anything. I mean, it's gonna be a really cool little thing. I don't need to go any more into it other than you can play your own videos. Maybe you wanna stream some sports and you're playing a game. You might be able to get this in the very corner of your game as you're playing, it's up to you. We'll try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Magisto. You have to make an account in order for this to work and you'll sign in and what this application does, it makes your videos that you've recorded and wanna put it as a cool little like music video effects to it. I mean, it's gonna compose it by itself, upload it to the server and the server makes it for you and then we'll turn out, I'm gonna click onto my videos. I put three videos together and this is how it turned out. I think it was like three minutes total. I named it as Testy for test. There's my guy. That music was actually picked and put it in the background. And we got a cat right there that always right next to my window teasing my roommate's dog. And a dog who doesn't even get brave enough to go after it. As you can see, it all works good. Kind of like cool effects to it. I didn't do anything but upload these videos. And I just composed it just like this. So you can shoot a video right now and then upload it straight to it and then they'll mess with it or use your gallery, you know, search their videos and compose it all together. There's samples right here if you wanna check it out. You know, you're really gonna enjoy this application so go try it out for yourself. Next up we have Dashlane. Now this application, you're gonna have to run on your computers in order for this to really work. And what this is, is an all account online password places that you've ever been that it will store it in one place so that you never forget it. I've reviewed applications like this, but this one's even better. And I say better because it automatically does it for you. You don't have to insert anything. Well, you can, but you don't have to insert anything. For an example, if you got Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Chrome browser, whatever accounts you have on those browsers saved, when you download Dashlane's on your PC, it'll make you create an account, 
and it's completely safe. The same people who made this application can't even get to whatever. And if you take too long, your screen turns off or you get exited out, you're gonna have to every single time type in your password or your pin code so that it's always protected. Not even the people who made this application can recover your password or go into your stuff that you have saved. You see, you got contacts, IDs, logins, and passwords. And if I click on here, you will see that I got all my accounts right here. Maybe not all of them are in there, but look at this, I didn't even type any of this stuff. This stuff set itself in there by itself. If you're one of those people who use the browsers and, you, and your browser asks, would you like to save this login and password and you say yes. Now Dashlanes uses your permission to access your browser and learn from your accounts and set them automatically right to your phone so you never forget. And the thing is that it'll sync to any device you want it to. So if you have it on your tablet, your phone, or your other phone, or another computer, it'll all be synced. I'm so glad I ran into this. This is gonna be one of those applications where I'm gonna have from here on out probably for the rest of my life because it's gonna be very useful. I've forgotten passwords. I've forgotten what accounts I've even had. And now I won't forget them because I got this cool application. Go try it out for yourself. Go do it to it. Next up, we have Super Downloader. Now this application, what it does, it uses every kind of data consumption to be put into one. So let's say there's Wi-Fi here, there's 3G here, and some other sort of different thing that could possibly give internet. They're gonna combine it all into one and make one super download. So instead of using just 3G, you're gonna use Wi-Fi and 3G together to boost. So let's say download through your 3G was three megabytes and your Wi-Fi is like 10 megabytes, you're gonna get 13. So you can see here you can add the URL link to download and you will see that you got different stuff here and you got your settings here that you can change and go through. If you want to know more about it and how to use it, read the description and go try it out for yourself. Next up we have TV show faves. It's an application that knows all the shows and you're wanting to keep track of what shows you actually watch. Let's go into my shows. You have to pick them and search them and here are my shows. But this app is really cool because if I click on The Walking Dead, you'll read more stuff about your show, where it's going to be aired, what's coming up next, or maybe you don't know which episodes you watched. You can click on them and you'll be able to set to which episode you've already seen, like Family Guy. Go into Seasons, Season 1, click on it, and it'll show you all the shows right here of the Season 1. If you watched it, check it. Check it, check it, check it, check it. So next time... If there's gonna be another error, this is how many shows I've watched. I wanna make sure I watch this one. It's gonna give like a little reminders. It's just a good way to keep track of what episodes you've seen, what are the next ones coming out, when to watch them, what shows are deleted. We get information about the actors, get more shows, just a whole bunch of information. If you love shows and you would like to keep track, try this application out for yourself. Next up, we have Sleep Time. Sleep Time is an application that's supposed to monitor your sleeping. Easier way to wake you up. Read the description, like I always say, guys, I don't do the best job always explaining it. There's good and bad days, but this application, you're gonna have to, you know, sleep with it and set your alarm. As you can see right here, whatever you want your alarm, there's gonna be always a 30 minute mark, a sleep lab. If you sleep with your phone next to you on your bed, if you move a lot, it'll kind of learn your patterns and kind of figure out when's the best time to wake you up and how to, you know, teach you how to get more better sleep or something like that. And once you're ready for the alarm is at 120, you can press start and put your phone on your bed face down and then press done. So let's say I grab my phone and I wanted to stop it. I can't without holding it for two seconds and a soft the alarm. Something like that, go test it out for yourself. Here next we have Hanson AR. Have you guys ever wanted to find out how big phones are really in your hands? Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time talking about the iPhone 5. So let's say the HTC One X. How big is that in your hand? Well, this is the way you're gonna have to try it out. And in order for it to work, you're gonna have to print out this thing that it'll give you, and it'll be like a little piece of paper like this. This little application will pick it up, scan the little paper, and actually form, superimpose the phone as like if you're holding it in your hand and you can see the size of it without making paper cuttings like I have in the past before when I wanted to find out how big the Galaxy Nexus was gonna be in my hand. But yeah, this application is for figuring out how big the phones are really if you're one of those people who can't go out and test out the phone for yourself or you know you don't have time for it and you just wanna kind of have a feel for the phone, how it's gonna fit. This application is it for you. And last but not least, we have Androidify. Oh, 
and we jump right into a little guy that I made in Androidify is my avatar icon that I use for lots of things, especially my YouTube. It's been around for a long time, but many of you guys have still asked me, hey, how did you create that? And I wanted to bring it once again in my newest videos because, you know, a lot of people don't go that far back. But there's really good applications back there, guys. So you guys gotta go check those other old applications of the videos that I have going on. Making this did not take me any time. Let's go into creating a new Android. Now here's how we start. Very simple to use. Touch on the body and you can alter its size. You can widen his head, make him even skinnier, taller. Looks like an alien Android now. Now let's go into clothing or changing his skin color. And then we can go to here into the hair area. <laughs> let's do that one. Change the hair color, let's do that color. Let's do this, change it there. Pants, lots of choices to choose between pants, glasses, choose that, hats, but there. And you can actually put more stuff. You don't have to just, you know, select one and just keep adding on top of there. You can see that and it keeps adding and adding and adding. So you can't really see that stuff in the back because it's too much stuff. But this is how quickly simple it is. Once you're ready, click on your menu and press save. Press back into your menu and check out your Androids. And you will see that you got your Androids right there. You can set this as a live wallpaper. So there you guys have it. These are the best apps of the week right off Google Play. Brought to you by me, The Cool Loser. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread the word. I'm speaking really fast because I don't know why, but I'm having another good day. And I thought these applications were pretty cool. I got lots of cool applications coming again and again and again. So look out for the next one. So yep, I'm gonna go edit this video now and I shall see you guys next time. Later. The Cool Loser is in the house.